welcome to control engineering playlist i professor itesh dolakia is going to explain you block diagram to signal flow graph conversion in this video and this process that we do the reason is block diagram reduction method is quite complex and it is taking bit more time for a solution of problem so as if you convert block diagram into signal flow graph then it will be easier for us to have a transfer function by using machen's gain formula so here i'll explain you how we can translate given block diagram into signal flow graph so first we need to assign nodes to all inputs outputs adders joint and in between two consecutive block with given block diagram so let me assign nodes to all the inputs so here we have input so here i am assigning node you see and to all the outputs here we have one output so here i am assigning node you see then to all adders so here you see with this adder i am assigning node with this adder i am assigning node to all the joints so here we have a joint so i am assigning node here here i am assigning node as well as here i am assigning node and in between two consecutive blocks so here two consecutive blocks are there so here i am assigning node so that is how we need to assign nodes right now we need to give name to all those nodes so that when we have signal flow graph at that time it will be easier to have a plotting of that right so here let us say this is node 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 and this is 8th number node now we need to connect all the elements by direction and gain in signal flow graph right so let me have signal flow graph over here so here we have first node second node third node fourth node fifth node sixth node seventh node and eighth node at first node we have input r of s and at eighth node we have output c of s now i'll be connecting all the elements one by one so you see in between node 1 and node 2 nothing is there so direction is this and nothing means gain is 1 in between 2 and 3 we have nothing so direction is this and gain is 1 in between 3 and 4 direction is this and gain is s in between 4 and 5 direction is this and gain is s so we just need to eliminate those things which we are connecting right in between 5 and 6 nothing is there and direction is this nothing means gain is 1 in between 6 and 7 direction is this gain is 1 by s right so this is what we have connected in between 7 and 8 direction is this and nothing means gain is 1 now we need to connect this in between 5 and 2 so in between 5 to 2 direction is this and minus sign is there so here minus 1 that i need to write so this is what we have connected now now in between 3 and 4 6 in between 3 and 6 direction is this and gain is 1 by s so in between 3 and 6 direction is this and gain is 1 by s and in between 2 and 7 direction is this so 7 to 2 connection is there so this is the direction and minus sign is there so minus 1 that i should be writing over here so that is how we can have a connection of all the links which is what we have seen it in block diagram now we have a signal flow graph right 
Now we can solve this signal flow graph very easily by using Machen's gain formula. So in Machen's gain formula, first step that is to identify forward paths. Now here you can see this is first forward path that is happening from input to output without repeating node 1 into 1 into s into s into 1 into 1 by s into 1. So let me write that f1 that is 1 into 1 into s into s into 1 into 1 by s into 1. So this forward path is s square by s means s. And if you observe second forward path f2 then that is 1 into 1 into 1 by s into 1 by s into 1. So 1 into 1 into 1 by s into 1 by s into 1. So that is 1 by s square. Now I don't see any other forward path in this. Right. Now second step that is to identify number of single loops. So let us try to identify single loops and see it carefully. You should not forget any single loops else your transfer function will be false. So now I am writing first single loop. You see that is 1 into s into s into minus 1. Right. So this is my first single loop you see. So 1 into s into s into minus 1. So this is my first single loop. Now here second single loop that is 1 into s into s into 1 into 1 by s into minus 1. Right. 1 into s into s into 1 into 1 by s into minus 1. So this is minus s. Right. So this is our second single loop. Now third single loop you see that is 1 into 1 by s into 1 by s into minus 1. So let me write that 1 into 1 by s into 1 by s into minus 1. So that is minus 1 by s square. So I think now this is pretty much clear like that many single loops are there. I don't see any other single loops over here. Right. So these are three single loops which we have. Now we need to see how many two non-touching loops are there. So you see all three loops that is touching to each other. So we don't have two non-touching loops. Right. So in next step we need to identify two non-touching loops but we don't have it over here. Now let us calculate delta i. So next step that is to calculate delta i. So here delta i that we calculate based on forward path. So we have f1 and f2. So we need to calculate delta 1 and delta 2. Delta 1 that is 1 minus summation of loops not touching path f1. So you see with path f1 all the loops are touching so 1 minus 0 that we need to say so delta 1 that is 1 and with delta 2 we need to have 1 minus summation of loops not touching path f2 so you see 1 minus with second path all the loops are touching so we can say 1 minus 0 so that is also 1 now next step that is to calculate delta. So the basic formula of delta is delta is equals to 1 minus summation of single loops plus summation of two non-touching loop 
minus summation of three non-touching loop that is how formula is there but we don't have two non-touching and three non-touching we just have single loops so we just need to place this one minus you see this is minus s square this is minus s this is minus 1 by s square so we can say this is 1 plus s plus s square plus 1 by s square now if we further simplify this then you'll be finding this is s raised to 4 plus s cube plus s square plus 1 divided by s square now we just place all those data into machines gain formula so machines gain formula is transfer function which is c of s divided by r of s and that is summation of fi delta i divided by delta so here f1 delta 1 plus f2 delta 2 divided by delta that we need to place and if you observe the data which we have calculated so f1 is s delta 1 is 1 f2 is 1 by s square and delta 2 is 1 divided by delta so delta is s raised to 4 plus s cube plus s square plus 1 divided by s square so if you take lcm of s square so that will get cancelled and this will be s cube plus 1 divided by s to the power 4 plus s cube plus s square plus 1 so this is our transfer function so when you have this type of question where block diagram is very much complicated in that case first step that we need to do is we need to translate block diagram into signal flow graph as per the points which i have explained you right now i hope that you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video